Right guys, so another week, another location, and it's time for the preview show. Let's go. <laughs> oh, boom, first time. First time, baby. Yeah. Okay, so we're in the workshop today. So we've got a few jobs to do this afternoon. So thought we'd come inside, get the jobs done, yeah. and let you guys see what? Simon at work. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, we've got a couple of regrips to do this afternoon. So looking forward to doing those. Sun is shining, but unfortunately, these inside jobs need to be done. So we haven't got any European tour event this week, have we? No, it's a bit weird. So um, they've got no standard European tour event until the Masters now. So yeah. they've got it's Bay Hill on the PJ Tour, which we'll talk about in a minute. But then we've got the Dell match play, which is WGC event over in the States, and then it, that goes straight into the Masters after yeah. that. So now we're really starting to ramp up into golf season, which is a great time of year to, for us to all view it. Yeah. But no European Tour event after a brutal, yeah, brutal they, time they in need India a last week. Off, don't they? Yeah, I think they really, do, yeah. really deserve it. That was a tough event, wasn't it? Yeah. Hard work. Very much so. They earned their money last week. Yes. Um, it, it must be tough though, because if you're not eligible to get in WGC, yeah, or hold a PGA Tour card to play the Mar uh, to play Bay Hill, and not eligible for the Masters, you've got quite a long time off. Yeah, they've got Puerto Rico in yeah. the middle there. So, so, so there is another event that runs alongside the, the, the match play. Oh, the match play, yeah. Um, so you get the WGC, and then there'll be a couple of events. One that will run alongside the Masters, but yeah. one will run alongside oh. the WGC oh. event as well. But if you've got a European Tour card and no PGA Tour playing rights, you've got some you've time got a off. bit of a break. Yeah, which is yeah, interesting. Which after after their wraparound season, you do a lot of travelling early doors. So you mm. go so you go far down. east, and then you come back, go to South Africa. Yeah, so you, you do a lot of travelling in the first part of the year with the European Tour, so yeah. you would probably appreciate, probably need a bit of a break. Yeah. appreciate some time off. So we have got Bay Hill. Yeah, so a fantastic event on the PGA Tour. Mm. Um, the first time it's been played obviously since Arnold Palmer passed away. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what sort of um, tribute they do. Yeah, what the, yeah. Um, how, how, really? they, how they manage the event yeah. and how they obviously manage all the emotions that will go along with it. Yeah. Because yeah. it is going to be, you know, it's an emotional, you know, emotional thing. The passing of Arnold Palmer, it yeah. still resonates now. I mean, Mastercard, who were one of his main sponsors, have released an advert this week, and if you haven't seen it, um, go check it out. And it's, it really is a fitting tribute to Arnie. It is, um, yeah. And um, yeah, it's, it will be. It's one of those things where, with the with the Bay Hill tournament, that it, his thing was to come down onto eighteen. <laughs> watch the, the champion putt out and be the first person to congratulate them. So but he was also there all week sitting by yeah. the 18th wouldn't yeah. he? He'd be there yeah. watching people come in. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's one of those things that not not having him there this year for the first time will be will be different. Will be yeah. very different. Yeah, it'll be different. And it'd be it'd be interesting, will somebody else um in his take his place on yeah. the eighteenth yeah. green, you know, one of the family or something. Mm. But yeah, we shall see. So going into the tournament itself then, who have we got looking at? So McElroy's favourite so we can't pick Rory this okay. week. Um, we've got Stenson, Jason Day, Matsuyama, uh, Ricky Fowler, Justin Rose, Snedeker, Casey, Peters, Hatton, Molinari. So you the can list, see, the it list is, goes on. It, it is, is a big event, isn't it's it? It's a big event. Everybody wants to play at Bay Hill. Yeah. If if any of you guys have played at Bay Hill and want to share like pictures or stories about yeah, it's when you play around there, it? it is an amazing place. Um, so I've been told. Mm. I haven't been lucky enough to to play that play. one but that would be nice to be able to get over at some point yeah and obviously Tiger came out this week he was down to play but, and said he's not going to yeah and we it'll be, it'll be debatable whether he'll play the Masters either I can't see him playing the can't Masters personally him, uh, I can't see him going to it'd be nice but, yeah it would be but I can't see him going into that without playing another tournament no, first and no. obviously he's not in the match play so no nope. I can't see him going down to Puerto Rico to play in that one no. but there we go so where are you going then, Sasha? So I'm going to go, thought a little bit about this one this week, and um, I'm going to go with Ricky Fowler. Okay. I really think that this is going to be Ricky's year. I really think he's he's primed to do well. He's sort of, he's been there or thereabouts in many things, yeah. and I think this is going to be his year. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see like quite how he, he stands up, because obviously 
with winning that's going to take a bit out of you isn't it yeah from, oh, definitely. from that so it'd be interesting to see how he how he backs up over the next couple of weeks it's always hard to win and then keep going again the problem is at the minute there's so many torn, good tournaments back to back it's hard to have a week off as well yeah you've got to keep playing haven't you because yeah. you want to you want to give yourself the best chance to win these big events yeah definitely so, yeah yourself i'm going to go with somebody who finished quite well last week okay and is coming in or back into or looks like he's coming back into to some form and looks very very chilled out on the golf courses how i how Describe i saw it, it last okay. week is charles Schwartzel. yeah so we all know an amazing golf swing a major winner mm -hmm. but sort of dropped out there for a little bit and yeah and it's been away but looks very chilled out on the golf course last week looked to be putting quite nicely and obviously the move to pxg mm -hmm. looks like he's got used to the equipment and bits and pieces yeah. so i think Going into this time of year, he obviously he likes to play well in April because obviously yeah. he's got a green jacket. So exactly. Um, going into this sort of time of year, I think he's going to be trending pretty well. Yeah. Which like, I hope I don't curse him because he seems to be. He playing doesn't deserve very, it. He seems to be playing very well. You last didn't. Week. You didn't curse Mr. Hadwin last week, did you? No, no, I did say I'd like to see him get it done, and it was it, although he did try down the, when he made double down. I was like, oh, don't do this to me. <laughs> I can't keep cursing everybody, but yeah, he got it done and. Good luck but, to him. Yeah, so happy for him really. After the 59 and then not winning, yeah. it was it's been up there a few times. It was nice to see him get done. Exactly. But as always, guys, we want your feedback. Who do you think is going to win? Comment below on the video, share it around on social media. Tell us who you think is going to win. We want you to see some necks on the line, please, not just ours. Yeah. So thanks for everybody that comments so mm. far. It's good that they all get involved. We like to see who you all picked and, yeah. and why. Um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. We'll feature you obviously on Sunday on the Basement Golf Show. Exactly. And see if and we see can actually how we, get a win. See how we're all getting on. Can somebody actually get that pot of money? That is what we want to see. Simon was pretty worried about that sticking halfway, so he's done well. Not there. a massive fan of putting super strokes <laughs> on, if I'm honest. But this is on. Classic was Eno Putter here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. picked it straight up, didn't you, when yeah, you came nice. and saw it? Yeah. Yeah, like that one. Do you like a re grip? Just makes everything feel fresh, doesn't it? Yeah. For the start so of the season. Yeah, good one for the start of the season. If your grips have had a bit of wear throughout the winter, they either need a wash before the summer gets here, yeah. or they're going to need replacing. So a lot of people overlook the grips um, yeah, in definitely. terms of, of getting them replaced. And cleaning them. Yeah, and it's just one of those things. As soon as it rains, you will notice good grips. Yeah, it makes all else. the difference, don't yeah, they? You or get hot and sweaty. Yeah, your tension in your hands will go up. Obviously, you get... If it gets wet and your grips aren't up to standard, your grip tension is going to have to go up because you're going to have to try and feel like you're going to keep hold of it. Yeah. That's not going to be good for the rest of your game. No. So have a look at your grips. Make sure they've got some dents and rips and shininess looking yeah. look to them. Then uh, go and see your nearest PJ professional and they get them will looked sort at. Sort you out. So guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Guys, if you haven't already, there'll be a circle in the middle of both of us in a minute. That will subscribe you to the channel. That will get you all of our content free of charge. Yeah, so we obviously have four shows a week. The preview show being the one that airs on a Wednesday night. So if you yeah. haven't seen our stuff, click the description below. It'll tell you when all our shows are released. So earlier this week, we would have had Tuesday night, Tall versus Small. A bit of a challenge each week. If you haven't seen it before, go yeah. back through and have a look at those. And on a Monday night, we do a how-to lesson. So just simple tips and drills that will help you try and improve different parts of your game. Yeah, hope you play better golf and enjoy it more. Yep. As always, we'll see you very soon. Thanks a lot.